see a tower? Yeah. You want to go up the tower? Yeah. yeah, mommy wants to go up too. Yeah, we, we had to walk there. I'm sure that there's a beautiful view up there, right? Yeah, I and we want to walk up there. Okay, we'll go take a look. And we had to see their stairs there. Oh, look, there are people stairs. Yeah, there's already people up there. Yeah, maybe we should go up. Going all the way up. Wow, this is amazing. Mommy. Look at that view. Mommy, I see this is the closest we'll get to mountain climbing <laughs> in Florida. Okay, so we did our whole trail and notice this little guy was gone through the whole trail. So <laughs> and he's right in the middle of the road looking scared. Oh my goodness. The things I do for my kids, I swear. <laughs> where are you going? I don't care where we go. We need to go back that way. <laughs> Just as I, I know we're almost done. We gotta just head back, out of water, which means you did not big enough. So we've done like three and a half miles in an hour and twenty minutes, and that's we're going back to look for her little guy. Um, so I think we have like another mile left, and hopefully we can like wrap it up really quick. park like directly across here we still have to go this way taking a little break for the twins and then we're going to continue on our journey to get all the way back to the car Come on, car. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, we're almost at the car. I am so proud of them. six miles in and this is where the paved road ends um, all right buddy we're gonna have to see which way we're supposed to go we got there all right so um, let's take a look here we can either go this way there's a marker there and then there's this path this way all right so we're right about there and then I guess it wouldn't really matter which way we're gonna go because this is kind of looping around um, buddy I'm gonna let you make the call do you want to make the right or the left All right. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna try to go this way and see. We just came from there. So let's see where this takes us here. Let's see where we go. This is a little intimidating. Um, you know, we see those beware of alligator signs and we're like, okay. But we're hiking right by the water. So I feel like we just have to keep an eye out just to make sure there's no lingering alligators there. 
and this is the first trail that we've hiked where we can hear like the wildlife like you can really really hear it which is amazing i feel like there's a bunch of like monkeys in there <laughs> i don't know if you guys could hear it let me see You guys hear that? That's amazing. All right, so we're just hiking along this one. Just made a good call because we're on track to doing the trail. We were a little off track here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's because that's the way the trail took us. I don't know why I didn't see an alternative, but. I may just have missed it. And not a good time to forget our bug spray, which was my fault. But we're learning and this is definitely one for the books. So we have to make sure that the bug spray is in the bag next time. So they have these little sun shades every couple of miles which is nice we've been on here for one mile and we're just running into our second person on the trail this trail is nicely marked we're following that yellow trail but uh they have marked it very nicely for us hikers here definitely putting my new uh hiking boots to use got these for Christmas and they are super comfortable and very fitting for today I want to get the kids hiking boots and stuff but I think they're like no that just makes it so that we have to go with you <laughs> so I like a mile and a half and not too bad it's uh the walk itself is not bad at all it's the heat and it's 10 in the morning so the heat is not even at its worst and I'm already sweating but I can't even imagine coming around here like at you know when it's really hot like at 1 o'clock in the afternoon or something oh it's hot and it's not even hot hot it is well supposedly it says 59 degrees on my phone so should be accurate I would think right <laughs> but 59 degrees sweating up a storm out of breath only a mile and a half and it's because of the heat I'm guessing this is the other way if we would have came had we followed that other path but I don't know we'll try that one another time kind of get familiarized with the trails here we're gonna continue going down that way, just hugging the water, cause that's where our trail says to follow. But just so you guys see, we're right by civilization. Those are actual houses and traffic going by, so we're not too far into anything. I'm more worried about the alligators here, but so far we haven't sighted anything yet. All right, at least we've reached the shaded portion of this trail. So we've done all of that, all of that, all of that. And then this is the side that we're on now. So I definitely love this part. This part isn't too bad. Two miles. Total time 47 minutes and 48 seconds. Split pace 23 minutes, 14 seconds per mile. Okay, we're about to reach that other shaded pavilion here. Not that uh, it's really needed on this side because we have a lot of shade here. I mean, maybe from there on, I'm not sure what the shade looks like, but we came from this direction, so it was all pretty much shaded. We are 2.3 miles in and we're more than halfway done, so. Uh, we're not gonna take this break. We're just gonna keep going from here It's pretty cool. It looks like little trees Just sticking out of the water. We're going into a field of them here 
don't know if you guys can see with the sun, but <laughs> all right, he's tired. We've done two and a half miles so far. I don't know how I'm going to start these videos, so I'm just going to give you guys a short kind of like a uh, short reason on why I've taken this up as a hobby but um you know for those of you that have followed me in the past whether it's social media or YouTube you guys know that I've just been diagnosed with stage 2 heart failure so I have taken upon myself to get more active to get out there more enjoy being outdoors but mostly for the exercise so as you guys can see i'm already out of breath but i want to build my stamina try to see what my body will allow me to do in a healthy way of course you know taking it easy taking breaks but i'm just going to enjoy life <laughs> enjoy life not take my diagnosis as a you know my life is ending kind of thing so i decided to just do this to um just for myself i set goals for myself and i'm hoping that this will teach me more life lessons give me peace of mind and uh see if we can reverse that stage two to a stage one which my doctor says is possible so taking my medication and just trying to stay active and you know live a better life so that's where i'm at and oh, sorry i'm like sweating so much um so i have given myself the goal of doing 100 hikes within the year um if i could do it sooner even better and hopefully this will help me travel a little bit and help me see things that i wouldn't have seen otherwise um some journeys they will be coming with me because i love having them with me and some i will be doing solo because this is not fully their journey, it's mine. And I can't, you know, just think that they're going to go for the ride with me. They do for the most part. <laughs> He's trying, but it's not something that they want to do. It's not a hobby up there, but trying to get them a little healthy too. So trying to lose some pounds and hopefully day with them being out they'll end up liking it and who knows it might make some changes to their health in the future so um yeah so we're going for 100 hikes this is hike number four in the book so that's good if you guys want to follow along with my hiking adventures and my travels just subscribe on youtube or instagram wherever you guys want to follow me <laughs> and you know hopefully I'll inspire someone else that's in the same situation as I am to get out there and don't let this be a life sentence it shouldn't be a life sentence um it wasn't stage four so that's a good thing but uh you know get out there enjoy life one step at a time literally <laughs> And one day at a time. So proud of Tristan. He just went to me. He's like, Mom, this is the hardest walk I've done. And uh, it is. <laughs> it is definitely the hardest he's ever done. But he's doing really, really good very happy and uh, impressed and so proud of him. What did you say? Quality waters. 
you want to come it's winding like, waters not winding waters the slogan of this place must be the pain never stops <laughs> shade shelter i guess number four number four there is barely any shade that's how bad it is here it's like no shade whatsoever but we're gonna just stand here for a second i wouldn't even sit there because there's spider webs down there so unless you want a spider <laughs> crawling up your leg i could see that first bridge that we crossed from you guys see that building there it's on the right side of it right around there so we have to walk this here this here <laughs> and this here we've done 3.3 miles so we're actually not too bad it's it's almost we'll be there soon we definitely have done more than half of the trails so we've been walking out for an hour and 17 minutes which seems like an eternity to that one again i think that the reason why he's so tired is because a lot of it is in the sun and it's 11 o'clock now but it's really really hot out here um but we do get like a quite a bit of shade too here and there like i'm about to walk into shade now so we try to soak up all the shade that we can during this walk Oh, we have reached paved walkways again. Here we go. Now we're just heading back to the car. So there's something you don't want to see on a hike. Caution tape. Um, hopefully it's because this broke and not because it was a crime scene. But now I see where we went wrong with the split. Where we were a little off track. We went that way. Hugged the curb. But this trail starts right here where the yellow marker is. So we should have gone this way and that's where we were a little off track. <laughs> 